assisted squats are frequently used when you're unable to do a full squat with your own body weight. This is frequently if you're trying to work on gaining the mobility to get into a deeper squat or after injury, or if you have chronic pain uh, in certain situations. So we're trying to expose your body or the injured uh, tissue in your body, the injured body part, painful body part, to being in that position without the full load of body weight. So the setup I like, I like a semi-strong resistance band uh, attached to a pull-up bar above you or anything that is solid and won't uh, break with the tension of the band. Uh, and it's easily adjustable to a stronger band or a lighter band based on how much assistance you need. Another one is the uh, a TRX or a suspension trainer is quite good uh, if you don't have the appropriate band to or set up to set up a band. The only drawback of the suspension trainer is you act actively have to use your arms as part of it. So I do prefer the band because you can um, you can rely on the resistance of the band to assist you to come up. So I'll be demonstrating with the band, uh, but know that if you need to, you can utilize the, a a suspension trainer. So simply. When you're setting up, stand underneath. I usually grab the band at about head height. Again, depends on how much, how high above the head is and how much resistance you need. And simply, you're going to squat down and allow the band to stretch and help you come up. And through this, you're trying to keep proper squatting mechanics anyways, so you don't end up literally like leaning back or shifting forward, really relying on the bed. The bed is just there for assistance. Now, moving into a single leg squat, I'm gonna face the other way because my foot will uh, hit the wall behind me, is this is where the, I find it really beneficial, especially if you're having trouble controlling your, uh, you're not able to get very deep and you're really tr struggling to control your, whether it's your position of your knee or your foot, and then you can utilize this to just add that helps to get comfortable, getting deeper, get some work in the multi-joint pattern when body weight is too much. So there you have it, the simple, uh, simple strategy of reducing the load of a squat so you can get back to squatting after injury and or whatever your painful situation is.